It's no secret that the hot hatch scene in India isn't really hot. What is considered hot in our country is mediocre at best abroad. And if you want a real, globally acclaimed hot hatch, you've got two options in our country. The ridiculously expensive A45 S AMG or this, the less ridiculously expensive Mini Cooper JCW. We've already seen what it does in its stock form. So I'm here with this stage two autocross champion to see what's the difference. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Up. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and we are here to find out what is up with this stage two Mini Cooper JCW. Let's get straight to the good stuff. Let's talk about the engine and the mods. So, the Mini Cooper JCW comes with the B48 from BMW. It's a 2-litre, 4-cylinder engine with a twin-scroll turbocharger. Now, this in its stage 2 format by Mcraft comes with an Aventury carbon fibre intake, an Army Trix downpipe, a CTS intercooler. Now, it produces 276 bhp and 400 newton meters of torque. And this is what it sounds like. This is all that Mcraft has done on the exterior of this Mini Cooper JCW. One, the paint has been perfected by Mcraft. It is the same midnight metallic black that you would get from factory, but now it just looks so much fresher and nicer. Two, this hood scoop is now made of carbon fiber, real carbon fiber. Three, just like the front, the rear also gets a little bit of carbon fiber treatment. This rear tail garnish is also made from real carbon fiber. Four, all of the chrome bits like the weather strips, the uh, strips around the headlights and this chrome grille have been blacked out in order to give it that perfect sporty look. One thing I found about this car that was really cool was this optional extra rear diffuser. Match that with the carbon fiber JCW exhaust tips and the rear definitely screams race car. One thing about the Mini Cooper JCW that makes you feel like you're driving a really special car is the clearance between the caliper and the wheel. I mean, look at it. Not a single finger fits in. were the starters of this hot hatch game. They pioneered the transfers engine layout and while they weren't designed to be meant for the racetrack, their small dimensions, the peppy little block and the wide stance that they always had, that square chassis, made them really fun cars to drive around the city. And in 1961, when Mini fell in the hands of John Cooper, he started going ballistic. He added a bigger engine, bigger brakes, and that's when the 997 Mini Cooper came to life. That's where it all started. Okay, so this Mini JCW is pretty different. It is alive. So now the B48 uh, two-liter four-cylinder engine in India isn't that uh, common amongst us tuners to basically be able to extract all of its power. But abroad, everybody loves the B48 for its tunability. And um, I mean, yes, it likes to have a cool environment 
to be able to extract all of that power at its biggest stage 3 form or in its race set up this engine but a, our country doesn't have the environment where people would like to be able to extract most of the B48's power since you're going to need a lot of cooling components and the B48 is pretty expensive to build but keep the prices aside and there is no denying that the potential from this engine is immense imagine having a car that is sub 4 meters in length and pushing out around 400 wheel horsepower in a stage 3 format that is the actual potential of this engine and lots of people abroad do it to their 3 series and uh, they are very very powerful cars however this in this stage 2 format is also rather overwhelming because the moment you get a hint of the throttle in S or even in drive the front is quite overwhelmed with all of the power and you do get a little bit of torque steer however the heft of this steering wheel makes it a little nicer to feel so you don't feel that scared when your wheels are losing grip in fact it is it's rather enjoyable so i've already mentioned that this is an autocross champion and with due right because this tiny little chassis can take corners like a go-kart since it is so square it's capable of changing directions very quickly and since its wheels are always so far out from its body it's always capable of just transitioning so well from right to left with such little input from the steering wheel making it very very good for tight tracks like an autocross section the overall experience is very fun the throttle pedal is very direct and the brakes also do a pretty good job but I can imagine that you could do with a little bit of an upgrade since now you're pushing almost 300 bhp from this car all in all it drives very well the steering is quite hefty so you get quite a lot of feedback it drives pretty nicely there is absolutely no roll and I mean of course this is a JCW so you should expect that from the car from factory but it is just such an enjoyable car now I do have a couple of personal issues with this little car and uh, that is the noise I am not a fan of the B48's noise I prefer the EA888 but that is a personal preference and I would like to know you guys' uh, preferences too. What do you guys think? Does the EA888 make a better noise or do you guys like the B48 more? Let us know down below. As much as I would love to tell everybody to go and buy a Mini Cooper JCW for themselves just because it is such a nice car, I'm afraid that I need to have consumer advice in my mind and tell you guys the truth. This is not a very practical car. It's more of a toy than uh, anything. It is not practical at all because you've got absolutely no space. The car is pretty stiff all the time. But if what you'd like is a second car that is fun for you and you would like something that is fantastic to throw around the canyons, then look no further than the Mini Cooper JCW because you're not going to be getting bored with the car anytime soon as long as you're capable of working on it. And on that bombshell, it is my time to leave the car. Thank you so much for watching. Do let us know your thoughts on the Mini Cooper JCW. And if you had to upgrade anything else on this Mini Cooper JCW, what would you do? Let us know down in the comments below. See you guys. Bye-bye.